Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Do you see what I see on the screen right now? I'm sure you do. There's another Sporkle quiz in front of us. There is 15 minutes to try and figure out 62 song titles for all of the songs that have represented Norway in the Eurovision Song Contest. And Norway is of course, you know, as a Swede I gotta take the mick out of them sometimes, but I have to also be honest that they are one of my absolute favorite countries in Eurovision. However, does that mean that I will know all of their songs in Eurovision? No way. Absolutely... No way. <laughs> Absolutely not, of course. Um, 62 songs, I'm gonna try and get as many as possible. If you wanna try out this quiz as well, you'll have to make sure you do that before you watch me, I think, and then you can compare your score with mine. Link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And then tell me, will you beat me or will you get beaten by me in terms of getting the most amount of correct answers on this Sporkle quiz? for Norwegian Eurovision songs. Enough talking, let's play. Um, I'll start with what, uh, I'll just start with Silent Storm and A Monster Like Me because I don't know where else I should start. So I'll just start there. And when I look around on the years next to it, it's Grab the Moment. There is, ha that's how you write a song. There is of course a fairy tale. There is, of course, uh, My Heart Is Yours, there is Stay, there is um, Margaret Berger's called uh, I Feed You My Love, there is Icebreaker, there's Habba Habba, there's Give That Wolf a Banana, uh, there is also Fallen, Fallen Angel, I think, and uh, Queen of Kings, and um, Spirit in the sky yep and 2020 uh attention a little bit uh of course um 2008 uh it's called it's called come on maria hauka storing hold on be strong that's what it's called that was embarrassing vena bailar conmigo in their spain era here in norway uh, in my dreams, they're wigwam and high, and 2006 is um, 14th place. Alve Dansen. I'm not afraid to move on, and for some reason I just got Ladisvingi in my head, so let's get that one out of the way as well. <laughs> uh, other 80s songs from Norway. I think there's one called En Lille Melodi. Maybe that's Denmark. Terribly sorry if that's the case. Isn't Okay, maybe it is Denmark. I'll... Brandenburger Tor, though. My, one of my... Like, a cult classic, truly. It's too catchy for its own good, and it finished last for some reason. Another song that finished last was San Francisco. And, of course, also On My Own there. We can see 20... Or 2001. A lot of lost places in general. There's Stress, which I don't think finished last, no. Uh, but other... Mil etter mil. And then we have other Jan Teigen songs like Adieu and Dore Mi. <laughs> uh, does he have any other ones? Maybe not. Um, 81 they finished last. Is that Aldri i Livet? It is. 1980 they finished 16th uh, with uh, Hey Lo Lo Li Lo Li Lo Li Li Lo La, which is called Sami Ednan, I think. Sami Ednan. Samid, Samid Ednan, yes. Um, what else do we have? Uh, of course, Nocturne. Maybe I shouldn't skip that. Let's let's take the '90s first, I guess. Uh, 2000, I've missed out, which is "My Heart Goes Boom." The '90s, uh, "Alle Mine Tanker" is in here. "Alle Mine Tanker," okay, that's how it's called. Duet, of course. "I uh, Evighet." We've got, that's all of the Elisabeth Andreasen songs, right? Uh, Hanne Krug, though, what was her... Oliver? Was that her? Or was Lykkenir? Lykkenir might have been her. One of those. Both are very cute and very... Well, overly cute. <laughs> in my in my book. Um, other songs in the 90s here. Uh, 98 is, of course, Altid Sommer. And 99 is the guy with the Chicago Bulls tank top. Uh, live in my life without you is it called that it is 92 and 91 um, 
92 and 91 Norway uh, Mrs. Thompson is that Norway? I think it is that's probably I can't even spell that's in the 80s no that's it that is 91 okay and 92 18th place Norway uh, let's skip it we have so many Palma that I just know here and Voi Voi of course um, 64 is Ballong and Emi Symbol. What's that one called? He's singing about his balloon. Really good. I like it a lot. But what is it called? It's 1964. Why don't I know it? It's one word. I'm pretty sure it's just one word. I have Sangen on Die, which is Denmark, 1964. For some reason I remember that title, but not this one. Because I know it's one word, and the only word that I think now that I have in my head is stress, which I'm feeling when I don't figure out the songs. Um, 1964, Ballong Enemy Symbol. Dun 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 bom 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 What is it called? Si signal? Is it no not signal? What is it called? Is it called something with sig It's something on S, isn't it? S uh, spiral spiral that's what it's called. Oh okay, there we have it. Um the seventies not my Decade, you know that. 66, they finished third with, of course, Intet er nytt under solen. I don't know how to spell this. Intet er nytt... Okay, two T's. Okay, there we are. Uh, 67... 16, they finished last in 1969. What could that be? I don't know. I'm not gonna get all of them, I can tell you that much, but 45 out of 62 so far. Hopefully I can get over 50. I should be able to do that. Finished 5th in 1988. Um, 17th in 84. Like I think like Norwegian song titles shouldn't be that difficult for me because it's obviously very close to, to Swedish. So I should be able to figure some of these out. Both 62 and 63. Surely I should be able to get those. Um... Um, but apparently not. And the 70s... Um, there's Oliver, there's Miletter Mil, and there's Lykkenir. What are the songs in the 70s from Norway? This is... It's kind of embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. I want to be able to get a lot of songs from Norway, but... It feels like the ones that I really know in my head are the ones that I've already gone for here now. And now I'm really struggling. Like the 70s is just not my decade. And it wasn't Norway's decade either. You can see that quite clearly. They did get a 7th place in 73. But that's just the year that I don't really care for in general. So that doesn't really help me. Um, there is a song though. It's... It's catchy, it's pretty dark, I think, if I remember correctly, and um, uh, it's it has an English, like one English sentence, I think, minimum, at least, in the chorus. Um, t uh, of summer, what's it called, like, Touch My Life? Yeah. Touch My Life with Summer. Well done, me. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Other ones that I can get would be... Uh, of course... Oh, uh, Matahari. Yeah, that's the last place in 76. Um, um, 86, 87, 88, 89. All four of those years. Norway. 
I feel like I, I just should know these songs, but Romeo. Good. Romeo is in there. Um, surely there must be other good songs back then as well. I like Romeo. It's catchy, it's fun. Um, and 92 as well. I should probably get all of the 90s songs, shouldn't I? 92. I'm thinking of the stage now, you know, with this dragon thing behind them and a Norwegian standing in front of it. Who could that be? Or who could they be? I have a feeling like it's a group, but that could obviously be very wrong as well. Um, where did they finish? 18th. That's not gonna help me much. No, let's skip that one. 87, what stage was that? It was the one where Johnny Logan won, yeah. And Gente di Mare, and... I mean, Norway did well. Ninth place is pretty good. 84, uh, oh, 84, I know. Um, Länge lever livet, right? Länge lever livet. Well done. Um, what else? What else can I figure out? 63, I feel like I should know because it's a song, I think it's a song that I don't really care for. And <laughs> maybe therefore I should remember it. Um, if I remember correctly, it's a very slow, very slow song. Um... But I don't know how that's supposed to help me in figure out, figuring out its title. Probably not at all. And 1967 is of course the year of If I Could Choose and Hablemos del Amor and Vzerose Sveta and O Ventumo Mudo and Puppet on a String and and L'Amour est Bleu and Norway in this great year of so many classics Norway sent what? I don't remember I really don't in 68 they sent Stress and in 69 they sent I don't know I don't know um, 62, should I know that one? They sent Voi Voi, Sommeri Palma, and then... Nope. Don't have a clue. It is what it is. 2 minutes and 39 seconds left. Like, I don't think I can figure any of the other ones out. Like, En Lille Melodie is really what I thought they had a song called. And one of their good results was called that, uh, but it could be Denmark, of course it could. And then I just, I'll get all of the Norwegians and Danes at me because like, how dare you mix up one of our best result songs. It, I don't know how grammar works in Norway. Den <laughs> lille um, melodi? Lille melodi? Min melody, min lille melody, min lille melody. No, I don't know. There's this song about like saving the world or something. Um, no wait, Venner's närhet. That's 50. That, that is 50. I can, I can breathe now. I actually got 50 out of 62. 12 songs left. Do I, will I get any of them? I have 1 minute and 20 seconds left to go. Uh, 77. I haven't even looked at that year. Like on, on this screen. We have Rock Bottom. We have Luce, uh, the French <laughs> title. Um, th there is also... 
what did even Sweden send that year? Was that the Forbes year or was that 76? 77. Um, it's just not a year that I know very much, very many songs from, I think. Um, let's, yeah, let's leave 77, honestly. 73, they still finished 7th. So maybe I should, maybe I should get that one. A 7th place, which is pretty respectable still, you know? But I don't know. And 62, they finished 10th, which is okay, I guess. Uh, 65. 65. Norway. Did they have a song called like Carousel or something like that? Don't know why I know that, but I just did. Okay, 51. Great. Kom sol, kom regn. That's the slow one. I think that I remember and Sulferv is also pretty slow and then Dukeman is actually pretty catchy and upbeat and I should probably get it but I did not think it was as late as 67 really Oj 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 så glad jag jeg ska bli Yeah Yeah, I, if I got it in here then I would have remembered it but I, I just never did and Småting which is of course pretty repetitive but that could help you remember it not for me though. It's just a game. I, I think I need to see and hear it in order to remember that because I, th that title tells me nothing. And the first day of love absolutely tells me something. Energetic drums in the background. I remember that much. Yeah, yeah. I, I have it somewhere back here. You know, it's I. I feel like I can hum it. But yeah, no, I would never think of it. Casanova, I don't know what that is. Mit Liv. I mean, it's it's a very simple title that maybe I should have remembered, but it's difficult to just think of that title. And then, of course, the Save the World song here. For vår jord, which means for our our Earth or our planet. So yeah. Um, yeah, would never get the title though. And Visioner, of course. I see it here. I hear it a little bit as well, but hadn't got a clue really. 82%, I came in like a wrecking ball apparently, because 60% is the average. Let's take a look at what the songs people usually miss. Uh, none of the... Venus Nerhet is the most rare song to get correctly, and I did get that one, so I can take that with me. Um, the most popular one that I missed was Casanova, and I, for the life of me I don't know what that is. So I guess I'll have to look that one up, and it's just a game up here as well. Mitliv Fovoyud in the middle here as well. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, fun little quiz this one. I, I'm, I'd be a little bit satisfied with actually getting 51 out of 62. I think that's that's respectable. It's decent. Uh, because Norway has had kind of a, a rough patch as well, historically, when it comes to Eurovision. So 51 out of 62. I can't be too disappointed with that. So let me know also how well did you do on this quiz? Let me know, write a comment below and compare your score with mine. Um, I think that's going to be everything for now. We'll see uh, when the next quiz was going to come up. I think Poland is the next country up. Uh, no guarantees as to when I will do that quiz, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, we'll see. Sometime in the future it will appear. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've had fun and hope you had fun doing the quiz as well. And uh, as I said, let me know if you beat me or not, uh, and have a good one until I see you next time. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.